<laughs> Let me start over. Music time! <laughs> Gosh, to start off, I mean, tell me a little bit about how Ariel came about. Was this something that was already in the works when the live action film was? I believe um, when Disney Junior started developing it, there, there, there was probably a parallel time uh, thing going on, but they were not um, um, intermixed in any way. It was completely separate uh, journeys, shall I say. Um, but uh, when when I came on to the project, um, I believe the live action may have already been shot, but there was no intersection. Well, can you talk a little bit about creating this version of Ariel? I mean, were you trying to capture a younger version of the original mermaid or is this a completely new character? It's sort of a marriage of, of both ideas. Um, it, it, I look at it that if you, if you just said, okay, we're just throwing out everything we everybody thinks they know about Ariel, and we're starting over, and that would be like suicide, I think. Um, so it's how do we build off of what we all know about Ariel, and then how how do we expand our sense of who she is, and. Um, uh, as I've thought about this, again, if you if you stop and think about those two movies, um, they really are love stories, right? There, it's it's almost a rom com, so um, that takes a whole different kind of path than than something that's very focused on on a character and her world. So that's the big opportunity here is. There's no love interest. It's about her and her world. And then, of course, she's not 16, she's eight. So we're getting to see this character that we think we know. We're getting to kind of step back and, and learn more about how she became the girl we think of. So to me, the, the core of that is sort of centering around the most iconic aspect of her, which is her beautiful voice. So then how can we expand on what does voice mean? And then how do we explore that in a series? Well, you know, one of the things that really stood out to me is Ursula, because she is known as this like iconic big bad in Disney, and she is a friend to Ariel in yes. this series. Can yes. you speak a little bit about the inspiration behind that? Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, on a certain level, there's a, a kind of pragmatism to it, right? She's this. This is a show geared to four-year-olds, and um, having a big, giant, scary character doesn't seem like a way to engage that audience. So it it, it necessitates a change in how we look at her, and 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 it's sort of like shifting the balance, right? That. Um, this Ursula is not angry at the world. She she loves the world and she loves being an aunt. And then you put um, Amber Riley in that voice, make her Ursula, and she just becomes this super loving and, and fun loving uh, character, um, which you get a taste of in that first episode, but it just kind of keeps growing as the season uh, develops. Well, the attention to detail in the animation stuck out to me as well. I mean, it is incredible from the hair to the scales. It's a beautiful yes. world that you guys have yes. created. Yes. Um, yes. How, did, how did you work with the you know art and the animation department to create that visualization? Yeah, it. Um, I, I have to say, you know, it. it the success of any movie or TV series is so based on the team that you bring together. And we are so fortunate to have Kristen Garland as our art director, who is, um, one, was just so excited that she's getting to work on Ariel because when she was a kid, you know, she, she watched the movie, um, but that she is just incredibly talented and has brought together a great team that that has really done 
you know, the deep, deep work of how do we make, how do we bring that sense of the Caribbean under the water? So very inspired by um, the diversity of the colors, um, the African influence, the Latino influence, the East Indian influence, all these elements that exist in the, all, along the Caribbean uh, islands, but we're underwater. So how do we then take that and, and reinterpret it in our world? And yeah, they, they've just done an amazing job. Oh my goodness, yes, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it, it looks like that is about my time for today, but thank you oh. so much for chatting with me, Lynn. It was so lovely. Great to, to talk to you. to you. Oh, Flounder, I'm so glad your hiccups are... <gasps> now you have the hiccups! We'll see ya! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs>